Well, now let's bring in futurist Sean Dubravak for some expert analysis on artificial intelligence. He's president of Astra Insights. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be with you. So as we know, lots of ongoing talk about the danger of AI in the future. How legitimate are those concerns? Any time that we have innovation, we have transformation, we have change, and that change brings with it trepidation and, and fear. So some of that fear is naturally placed in the unknown. We don't know exactly yet how AI will develop, how it will evolve, how it will be used. And so that's where some of that fear sits, is ensuring that AI is used in the most productive ways for society. And we're certainly seeing that tech leaders are really split down the middle on this. You have Elon Musk on one side, Bill Gates firmly on the other side, about whether AI will end up devastating mankind or working alongside us to give us better opportunities. How do you think these divisive opinions might affect growth that we see in AI? We're certainly in a global AI boom right now. You've got tremendous investment pouring into AI here in the U.S. and around the world. Investments in AI startups has essentially doubled over the last year. You know, you've seen a tremendous number of acquisitions in the space uh, just since the beginning of this year alone. And so despite some of the concerns of externalities, uh, you've seen tremendous investment and, and tr tremendous hope in the technology. And that's certainly a, a key sign of innovation is this hope for a brighter future. And that growth really is undeniable, as, as we can see from the numbers. So let's talk companies now. Which are the ones that are really on the cutting edge when it comes to AI, and how are they mostly using it? So you certainly see uh, AI impacting a myriad of companies. The large companies, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, all investing heavily in artificial intelligence. AI ultimately will impact every company, every corporation, whether they're a tech company or not. Uh, AI is ushering in the next industrial revolution, perhaps the biggest change we've seen in, in human history, certainly the biggest change we've seen in the last century. And so you see it being used in a lot of different ways. AI is used for spam filters and email. AI is being used by Netflix to aid in program decisions. You're seeing it used across the board. Now, obviously, if you're someone who's working and you're wondering how this is going to affect you and your future in your career, some types of work does lend itself more easily to AI than others. So which industries do you think are likely to feel the biggest impact from growth in AI? We'll see AI impact every industry, from agriculture to healthcare to retail, professional services. They'll all be impacted by AI in certain ways. And every job, ultimately, I think, will be impacted by AI. I don't believe that AI will replace every job, but we'll see every job infused with some element of AI. Areas where routine tasks can be easily automated is an area ripe to be turned over to AI, and I think that will happen in the coming decades. Areas dominated by non-routine work, certainly dominated by cognitive work, uh, will be areas that will probably be shielded from AI for many years to come. Now, with AI being more seamlessly integrated into our daily lives, tell us about some of the more surprising and unexpected uses that you've come across with AI. You're seeing AI show up uh, everywhere, as I mentioned. You're seeing it show up in healthcare, from virtual doctors to diagnosis assistants. You're seeing it obviously show up with virtual assistants, and that will play a, a variety of different roles in our life. You're seeing it impact the little decisions that we make, automating decisions around shopping, automating recommendation engines, all of these type of things are improving. Speech recognition is perhaps one of the areas that we've seen the most advancement in recent years. In 1995, the technology was extremely flawed, really didn't work, and it's really been in the last 36 months that we've seen tremendous progress in voice recognition, and we see that really starting to influence the type of interactions that we're having with computers. Voice really is the next user interface for computing. Now, being that there is so much room for growth, what can people of working age do to best prepare themselves for the careers that come with more integrated AI? I think being prepared for a world that requires flexibility in the type of work that you do, again, that requires cognitive abilities, are the areas where AI will benefit uh, those jobs and provide them the most positive uh, benefits to those to those jobs. I think areas where you see 
AI step in and do routine tasks are probably at the, at the, the greatest harm and, and pose the most risk to those type of jobs. So you want to certainly ensure that you have jobs that are non-routine in nature and require a lot of cognitive thought. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sean Dubravak, president of Astra Insights.